Hi everyone, this is Dr. Drury Grogan. I'm sorry that I can't be there on the first day of class with you, but my GA, Lucia Gaviria, will be running the class. She's going to show you a video of me giving an overview of our syllabus from the other classes that I was able to give before I had to leave, and then she'll facilitate an activity with you. Now, you can ask any questions by email to me. I will be back on the 10th of September for our next class. Unfortunately, I had to schedule a research data collection trip this week, so that is why I'm not with you. But I look forward to seeing you Monday, and enjoy today's overview. And again, email me any questions, and we can go over things next week in class. in the audience, so welcome to your junior IP class, your integrated project class. My name is Dr. Drury Brogan. I know that a number of you probably know me as Dr. Drury, but I was married over the summer, so you can still call me Dr. Drury, Dr. Drury Brogan, I answer to both. You'll probably see around campus my name actually listed both ways because as computer systems go, they don't all talk to each other, but suffice it to say it's the same person, so you can refer to me in either way. Before we get started, I'd like to take roll. Now, I do warn you that I have about 160 to 180 students this semester, so it is a lot of names. What we're going to talk about today, for those of you who don't know me, I'll give you a bit of background about who I am so you can see where I'm coming from in this class. We're going to go over our course packet. I know it's the bane of the first day of class, but for this particular class, it's extremely important. If you remember from last year's integrated project, our class is very important because it synthesizes across your business classes this semester. However, unlike last year, I can tell you it's going to be hopefully a bit more humane because you only have three other business classes that we pull from. It's not like your sophomore year where you had every single one of your courses coming into that integrated project. So hopefully you'll see that it's a bit more manageable in terms of that, that you're not going across all of your classes. We're then going to do an activity about your career field. We'll, we'll get into that. I'll explain to you what I mean by that. And I'll give you the assignments for our next class, which again is in two weeks' time, September 13th. I went to my undergrad at a Jesuit college upstate in Canisius, and I did my PhD work in Chicago at Northwestern University. And there I did a lot of organizational communication research, decision making, but I decided to leave academia for a number of years and go work in industry. So I left and worked for Deloitte Consulting, both in Chicago and in New York, so our number one and number two offices. And I bring that up in my classes because I haven't been one of those professors that is only know what it's like to be in a classroom setting. So at Deloitte, a lot of my clients were financial services. I worked on Wall Street many a day. In fact, I was at AIG the day that they announced their bankruptcy a number of years ago. So I try to bring in those experiences in the class, and in particular, in this class, we'll be able to talk a lot about that, because your project is all going to be around career fields and different jobs that you want to explore. And we'll also be looking at some project management aspects. So I bring a lot of that from the clients that I worked with at Deloitte into the classroom. Once I left industry, though, I came back internationally. So I was overseas in Europe for the first couple of jobs back in academia, managing a number of research projects on decision-making on teams, communication on teams. And that's what brought me back to Florida, where I'm now an assistant professor in communication and media management. So from time to time, as I said, I will try my best to bring in those experiences because I think for you, it's a much richer experience if you can see how something is applied outside the walls of the ivory towers, if you will. And then, aside from what I do professionally for work, I'm also heavily involved in Toastmasters International, which is a communication organization. Just quick by show of hands, who is familiar with that organization? Have you been involved with it, done a member of the club, just heard of it? Heard of it? Okay. So essentially what it is is a communication club for professionals. They practice public speaking, we have a lot of managerial uh, training, leadership, listening. So I put that up there as an example to 
show you how many different audiences I speak to about this topic. They're not all just academic rooms like this. There's a lot of practitioners that I work with, both in and out of companies. So again, I like to bring all that into the classroom because you can benefit from hearing from those. Again, not just sitting in here looking at what's the theory and how do we apply it, but actually the real world application. And that will help you understand how you can use what we do in this classroom beyond the walls of this classroom. Because you'll have assignments, certainly, that you have to do for me, work that you have to do for our class, but more importantly is what you take away from this class and what you do with it when you leave both the semester and the university as a whole. Because these are very applied skills that you'll be called upon to use in any job that you, that you work in.